Hello, welcome to Free School Exam Preparation. Today we're going to talk about Edexcel International AS and A Levels, Pure Mathematics 1. Today's unit is Unit 2, Coordinate Geometry in the XY Plane. Okay, so let's take a look at the equation of a straight line. So usually we can write this as AX plus BY plus C equals to 0. So here A, B, C are constants. So there are three situations. The first one is A equals to 0, B is not 0. So in that case, we'll have BY plus C equals to 0. So we have Y equals to negative C over B. So if we draw this line on the Cartesian plane or the XY plane, it will be something like this, parallel to X axis. And here is 0, negative C over B. Okay, so second situation is A is not 0, B is 0. So in this case, we'll have AX plus C equals to 0. So X will be negative C over A. If we draw this on the Cartesian plane, so it will be a line perpendicular to X axis. And here, the coordinates uh, are negative C over A, 0. Okay, so the third situation is A is not 0 and B is not 0. So in this case, maybe we can transform this one into a different form. So we'll have BY plus C equals to negative AX and BY equals to negative AX minus C. So Y will be negative A over BX minus C over B. So we can denote negative A over B as K and negative C over B as H. So this one can be written as Y equals to KX plus H. Okay, so we call this K slope of this line or gradient of this line. And for this H, so we call 0 H Y intercept of this line. Okay, so what does this mean? So slope and gra or gradient shows how steep this line is. So let's say if I have a line like this, and also I have another line like this, right? So we notice L2 is steeper than L1. So in this case, L2 will have a larger or like a greater gradient than L1. Okay, so for the y-intercept, this one shows the line's intersection with the y-axis. Maybe we can take a look at some examples. So let's say if I have y equals to x, right? So this line will be, so x, y, will be something like this. So we know its slope or gradient equals to 1. And its y-intercept will be 0, 0. Because this one, you can think it as y goes to x plus 0, right? So we say 0h is its y-intercept, so it's 0, 0. Okay, if I draw another line, y equals to x plus 1. So in this case, it still has a gradient equals to 1, because it's 1 times x. And its y-intercept will be here, so which is 0, 1. And if we draw another line, let's say y equals to 2x plus 1. So in this case, the line will be steeper because it has a greater gradient. So this one, right? And the intercept with, uh, the y-intercept is still 0, 1. So this is y equals to 2x plus 1. Okay, so here we have to be careful. So when we say steeper or not, so this really depends on the shape or like the direction of the line. So let's say for this one, right? So the line is drawing like this. So we can say when the gradient is greater, then the line is steeper. However, if I draw a line like this, so L3 and L4, so which one is steeper? So actually L4 is steeper, right? However, if you look at the uh, grade, uh, gradient, it will be a negative number. So let's call this K3, K4. So K4 turned out to have a greater absolute value than K3. But because they are both negative numbers, so in this case, K4 will be smaller than K3. 
So you can think about this is negative two, negative one. Also, the absolute value of k4 is greater than k3, but the real value, negative two, is smaller than negative one. Okay, so let's just try to do some exercises. So if I have two points, so the first point A is 1, 5. The second point will be 2, 7. So just by linking those two points with a straight line, so we are able to get a line L, right? So now we want to see the gradient of this L and also its y-intercept. So how do we do this type of question? So maybe we just draw this on the Cartesian plane first. So we have one, one, two, three, four, five. So this is A. And two, six, seven. So this is B. Okay, so this line will be here, right? So if you draw it accurately, you may be able to find this y-intercept. But how do we calculate this algebraically? So what we can do here is you can think about drawing a perpendicular line to x-axis from B and drawing a, a parallel line to x-axis from A. So these two lines intersect at this point we call it P and we know this angle is 90 degrees. So the slope actually is the length of BP over AP. Okay, so in this case, we just need to find the length, right? So we know A is 1, 5. So P will have the same Y coordinate as A because they, have, they are at the same height to X axis, so it will be 5. Same thing, so P will have the same X coordinate as B, so it will be 2, 5. So this length from B to B, uh, B to P will be 7 minus 5. And this length here will be 2 minus 1. So the slope, we said, is just using 7 minus 5 over 2 minus 1. So this will be the gradient will be 2. Okay, so after we know this, we say we have this equation y equals to kx plus h. So the gradient is k and the y-intercept is this 0h. So we can plug in the value of k, so we know y equals to 2x plus h. And because a and b are on this graph, on this line, so we know if we plug in the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate into this equation, it will hold. So in this case, I have 5 equals to 2 times 1 plus h, so I have h equals to 3. So the y-intercept will be 0, 3. So just right here, and this will be 2. Okay, so let's make it more general. So if we have A equals to x1, y1, and B equals to x2, y2. So in this case, the line passing through AB, the gradient will be, so up to you, you can use A to minus B, or you can use B to minus A. So Y1 minus Y2, but here will be X1 minus X2. Or you can use B to minus A, it's the same thing. So Y2 minus Y1, so X2 minus X1. So how about the Y-intercept? So for this one, you may need to find out the equation first. So what we need to do is we have Y equals to KX plus H. And this k is this gradient. So then we'll just plug in the value of y1 and y, uh, x1. So maybe I'll just write this out. So y equals to y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1, x plus h. So here we are looking for this h. So we plug in the value of a. So y1 equals to x2 minus x1, y2 minus y1, x1, and plus h. So here we know everything, x1, x2, y1, y2. So we can just find out what is h. So the y-intercept will just be 0, h. Okay, so that's the first type of question. So let's try a different one. So let's say if I have a equals to 1, 5, and b equals to 2.55, can you find out the line passing through this a, b's gradient? 
Okay, so we can use the formula, right? So we'll have 5 minus 5. So we'll use a to minus b. And then 1 minus 2.5. So it turned out to be 0. So what does 0 mean? So 0 means it's not steep at all. So in this case, it will be parallel to x-axis. And we know this is 5. So if you write equation of this line, it will be y equals to 5. So that's exactly what we have shown here in the previous slide, the first situation. Okay, let's take a look at another question. So let's say if I have a equals to 1, 5 and b equals to 1, 2. Okay, can you find out the slope? So uh, it will be 5 minus 2, 1 minus 1. So it will be 3 over 0. So as we know from primary school, there's no point we can put a zero in the denominator. So in this case, we will say the gradient does not exist. Okay, so if you draw this on the Cartesian plane, so it will be this, x equals to 1. So if in this case, when this straight line is per uh, perpendicular to x-axis, so we say it has no gradient. So let's just go back to the previous slide. So for the first one, we say the gradient equals to 0 because it's parallel to x-axis. So here, the gradient equals to, uh, sorry, no gradient because it does not exist. Okay, so the things like when you try to use this y equals to kx plus h form, you have to be careful. Sometimes, if there's no gradient, there's no such form. However, this one, ax plus by plus c equals to zero, can cover all types of straight lines. Okay, so now let's take a look at another concept. This is called x-intercept. So this is where the line intersects with the x-axis. So for example, if I have y equals to kx plus h, the coordinates of this x-intercept will be when y equals to 0. So I can just write 0, kx plus h. So it will be negative h over k, 0. So if you draw this line on the Cartesian plane, something like this, so these coordinates will be negative h over k, 0. Okay, so we can do another question. So let's say if I have y equals to 5. So what will be the x-intercept? So we know this line will be like this, right? So this line will be parallel to x-axis and not intersecting with x-axis. So in this case, it has no x-intercept. Okay, so now let's just do a quick summary. So if I have y equals to kx plus b, so we know the gradient equals to k. And also the y-intercept will be uh, x is 0, y is b. The x-intercept will be y is 0 and then negative b over k. But here we require k is not 0. Otherwise, we can't divide k. Okay, so if I write ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So as we mentioned, the first situation, a is 0, b is not 0. So in this case, the gradient will be 0. And its y-intercept will be Neg a 0, negative c over b. And its x-intercept, like this situation on the left, right, does not exist, so no. Okay, so if a is not 0, but instead b is 0, so the gradient does not exist. And its y-intercept does not exist because it's perpendicular to x-axis, uh, x so no. Um, and it's uh, x-intercept, right? So this will be just uh, negative c over a, 0. And finally, if none of them is 0, so we'll have its gradient equals to negative a over b. 
and its y intercept is 1x equals to 0. So you can just solve this equation. Don't you memorize this? You, just, you can just solve this, uh, you know, if we have the numbers or even use letters. It's not difficult. So when y intercept is 1x is 0, so it will be 0 negative c over b. And finally, x intercept is when y is 0, so it will be negative c over a, 0. Okay, so that's just a quick summary. Now we take a look at another type of question. So there is a concept called collinear. So what does collinear mean? So if I have two points, A and B, no matter what, I can draw a straight line connecting them. However, if I have three points, let's say this, right? Is there any way I can draw a single straight line which passes through all three points? The answer is no for this graph, right? Because this A, B, no matter what, can't pass through this C. However, if I draw A, B, C like this, so we can have a single straight line passing through all three points. So in this case, we call A, B, C collinear. So how do we prove three points are collinear? So basically, we can calculate the gradients of two lines. So the first line, it's up to you. You can choose A, B. So this is a gradient of the line passing through A, B. And also we can calculate the gradient of the line passing through A, C. Because these two lines share a same point, which is A, and they have the same slope, which is slope shows uh, uh, like the direction or it's like how steep it is, right? So in this case, we will know they are collinear. Okay, one example. So this is on the textbook, page 87, Q10. So we have A equals to negative 2A, 5A, and B equals to 0, 4A, and C equals to 6A, A. Okay, so we want to prove they are collinear. So we can calculate the gradient of the line passing through AB. So it will be 5A minus 4A, negative 2A minus 0, so it will be negative 1 over 2. And then passing through AC, or you can do BC, it doesn't matter. So AC here will be 5A minus A, negative 2A minus 6A. So will also be negative 1 over 2. So they are equal and they share the same point A. So in this case, we have shown that ABC are collinear. Okay, so that's how we do this type of question. Another question. So if I give you a gradient, okay, so let's say gradient equals to 5. Also, I give you another point, A, equals to 2, 3. Can you write out the equation of the line with this gradient 5 and passing through L? The answer is yes. So how do we do this? There are several ways. So the first way is because you know this gradient already, right? So you can just write y equals to 5x plus h. So we don't know about h. And then we know a is on this line. So we can just plug in the coordinates of a. So we have 3 equals to 5 times 2 plus h. So we have h equals to negative 7. So the equation of the line will be y equals to 5x minus 7. Okay, that's the first method. The second method. So we know it will pass through AB. So if I write something like this, y minus 3 equals to k times x minus 2. Does it work? The answer is yes, right? So because if you plug in the coordinates of A, so x will be 2 on the right-hand side will be 0. So no matter what, the, right, uh, the left-hand side should be 0. So y is 3. So that makes sense. And then we know k is 5. So you can directly write the equation y minus 3 equals to 5x minus 2. And probably you can just rearrange this one. So you have y equals to 5x minus 7. Okay, so here we make it more general. So let's say if we know the gradient equals to k and passing through a point x0, y0. So the equation of this line will be y minus y0 equals to k x minus x0. Okay, so that's the first type of question. So the second type of question is if I know two points. 
So let's say A equals to 2, 3, and B equals to 5, 7. Can we write out the line passing through these two points? The answer is yes. Actually, we've done something similar in the previous slides. So basically, we can find the gradient of this line. And after that, we just need to um, have y equals to kx plus h, and then we plug in the value of this um, a point, and then we will be able to get the equation of the line. So in this case, we have the gradient equals to 7 minus 3, 5 minus 2. So it will be 4 over 3. And we can write the equation as y equals to 4 over 3x plus h, right? So when x equals to 2, y is 3, because a is on this uh, line. So we have 3 equals to 4 over 3 times 2 plus h. So we have h equals to uh, negative 3, 2 over 3, 6. No, actually, sorry, let me just calculate this. 3, 9, minus 8. OK, so it will be 1 over 3. OK, so we can write the equation y equals to 4 over 3x plus h. OK, let's make it more general. So if we know x1, y1, x2, y2. So the equation L will be y equals to kx plus h. So where k equals to y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. And then we plug in the value, we'll have h, as we just showed uh, in the previous slide. So here, for the last question, we have to be careful a little bit. So the problem is if I give you 1, 2, 1, 3, can you use the same method? The answer is no. Because if these two points are like this and the line passing through them has no gradient, right? You can just directly write out the equation because both of them have the same x coordinate. So it will be x equals to 1. Okay, so let's take a look at the syllabus of unit 2 here. So for 2.1, we want the equation of straight line including this form and this form. So the first one is we just mentioned the slope is m and it passes through the point with coordinates x1, y1. And also to include the equation of line through two given points, we talk about this, an equation of line parallel to a given line. So this one we haven't learned yet. So we will leave this one and 2.2 for the next Okay, so that's everything for this lecture. We hope you have enjoyed it and wish you good luck with your exam. So if you're interested, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.